All right. If you've been following along with the series and you're like, all right, cool. Yeah, this is fine. But it's not really that difficult. It's all pretty straightforward stuff if you've been using React Native for a while. I won't disagree with you. This video hopefully will get into something a little bit more fun. And that is to actually take this static width and make it whatever the correct width is based on the number of answers of the total answers for that specific question. So you can see here, if there's only four out of 41, it's a small amount. If it's almost 50% of the answers, we're going to show almost 50% of the bar being filled. And the way we can do this is actually by using the on layout property of a view component, which is exactly what we'll be doing in this video. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is get rid of this setting a static width. We're not going to use this. We're going to have a dynamic width, which means we can also get rid of this other prop answered. And if you're not sure where I'm at right now, check out the description down below for the previous videos in this series, or just look at the code in the GitHub repo, which I've got a link to down below. Now going back to this get overlay styles, we can go ahead and remove this dot props dot answered from there as well. Okay. So what do we want to do? Well, we know that from previous videos, we've got this answer row, which basically this gray background is always rendered in the background. It just doesn't have any background color. And the nice thing about this is we can actually use the on layout of this, uh, even though it's invisible to the user, it's still being laid out there so that we can actually go ahead and use the on layout property of it to determine exactly how big it is. Now, the reason we're using this is depending on the size of the screen, whatever the device the user is using, that width can be different. So we can't just hard code it. So we're going to use the on layout to decide exactly how wide that is depending on the user's screen and use that for the math to determine exactly how much of how wide the bar should be depending on if it's 19 out of 41 or three out of 41. So with that said, let's go ahead and define this handle layout function, which I'll do above our render. And handle layout is going to take a uh, an object and inside of this object, so I'm gonna use object destructuring here, there's something called a native event in here. And that's what we're going to want to tap into. Now we're going to store the actual width of this bar on state. So what I'll do at first is say state, we'll just set up some default state and I'll set a width of zero here. So now we can go ahead and reassign state to be native event dot layout dot width and now when we save this basically what's happening behind the scene is state is updating and we'll get the exact width of this so now we need to decide how wide should the bar be based off of the number of answers so going back into our render function first we'll decide the percentage so we'll say const percentage so percentage of the answers that belong to this answer we can say this dot props dot answer responses divided by this dot props dot total responses and then we can determine the row width based off of that and how wide the bar is so we can say this dot state dot width times the times percentage of answers that that has now one thing we want to do and this is mostly for android or i guess it just is nice to do in general but we're going to say math.floor on this just so it's a round number rather than being, you know, 28.219. I've seen on Android, it can have some issues with layout if the width is not a round number. So we're going to go ahead and just say math.floor. It's going to be such a small amount. It's fine. We're, we're going to factor that error into our margin and that's perfectly okay with us. So now we can actually go ahead and use this. And remember, this is going to go on to our overlay style, which we're defining here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this get overlay styles we defined previously, and I'm going to put an array here for the multiple styles. So we've got our base styles, which is going to determine the color of the bar, and then we can go ahead and set the width. So we can say this.props.answered. And if the question has been answered, then we can go ahead and set the width of this bar to be the row width. Now I'll save this. And when I choose an answer, we can see we're getting the correct bar width to actually show up based off of how many answers is cor it's correct. And what's cool here, if I actually take the editor or the device, because on layout is going to be called whenever the layout of this view changes, if I turn the device sideways, it 
if I turn the device sideways, you can see on layout it's going to be called, and we're not setting a static width here, and I can't scroll right now, that's not set up, but you can see that the widths are updated. The 19 out of 41, that's as wide as a device would normally be in portrait mode, but in landscape mode, it's gone ahead and updated because once again, on layout is going to be called every time that views layout is changed. So if I bring it back to portrait, we once again update it correctly. And that's how we're kind of able to have that dynamic width on the user's device without much additional issue. If you've got any questions or you've confused about this, make sure to check out the code. Link is down below as well as links to the previous and the videos that come after this one as we continue to build up this question row component in our React Native application. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.